when I first read the script, I knew uh, this was going to be something great. And this movie just just appealed to me so much, and the way it was being done, I knew I had to be a part of it. I'm really excited about San Francisco taking the film, and first time I'm showing it, and really pumped up about it, and can't wait to see how it plays. Um, can I have a ticket for Johnny Montana? Thank you very much for your support of independent film and taking a chance on something you've never heard of. The San Francisco Chronicle called this uh, on the shortlist, one of the best of the festival, called it irresistible guerrilla style filmmaking. And joining us tonight from New York, John Daniel Gavin. John, come on. I'm excited and again, thank you so kindly for being down here. Thank you so much. to me, is everything that epitomizes the perfect indie flick. This is independent film, and it gets no better than Johnny Montana. So my question is, why? I just wanted to tell a story, and, and, I, and I just really wanted to tell the story so bad. And I just said, I'm not going to give up, and I just got them to read the script. And once they read the script, I had them. And then I would get an art gallery. And I got a house in the Hamptons. I never had any money. Like I just casted the movie in pieces and shot the movie in pieces. And then I, I would lock out a location and I would cast an actor around. Then I would shoot her out. And then I would, then, like, from, just from the beginning of the movie of me coming upstairs in the Montana room to downstairs. When I came downstairs, it was actually six months later. I mean, I mean the train stuff on the train, those are all those are all extras. Those are, I, I actually got on a train on 6th Avenue and 20 Dirt Street, and then we rode the train to Coney Island. I, I dressed the whole cart. Me and the two principal actors were lava mics, and then we shot the whole train scene from like Coney Island to Church Avenue, which is like 15 stops. I'm just grateful to be here, really. And that's the main thing. I think that's the main thing. Loved it. Why'd you like it? Interesting story. I like the independent film aspect of it, the way it was shot. Um, the supporting actor, Laura, she did a wonderful job, and um, I cried. You did? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I thought it was fresh and rating, rating, you know, and it was very rawness content and wonderful. Just a wonderful, wonderful film. I would recommend it to anyone. I thought it was pretty cool. Why did you like it? Um, I think it was kind of like the grill filming, like everybody else said, and I think it's pretty representative of, like, people who are trying to do what they want to do and not having the resources or like money to do it and still being able to do it. It was just very real feeling, you know? It's like I'm from the East Coast and like I just felt kind of at home watching it. You know? I like the people. I think I like they were all very real to me. Very warm and personable. Very intimate. I loved it. I did. I mean, it was real. It was gritty. It was Johnny Montana, 100%. That's, you know. Johnny is totally a guy of passion. When you meet someone that has passion, you just want to be involved. So I didn't know what to do for Johnny. So first I said, okay, I surveyed his hair. I said, great, I'll do your hair for you. And the next scene I thought, well, you could use my hair salon when I do your hair. So we shot in my hair salon. And then he said, you know, you'd be a great guy that I could tie to a bench. I said, well, you could use my house and you could tie me to a bench. Tie me to a bench, everything tie me to a bench. He slaps me across the face. And I said, this is all in a day's work with Johnny Montana. Great. I loved it, actually. I loved being a part of the film. It's absolutely amazing. Working with John is an experience in itself. To see myself up there, I felt very proud. And I love the way it turned out. I think that the storyline, which got me involved at the beginning, in the um, it was very, he, he really did a great job with the editing, so I really, I really love that it turned out so well. It's amazing how everything just came together exactly as I was told it would, but I didn't really see it until tonight. It's just unbelievable. Fabulous film. You're a great director, producer, actor, everything. Hey, <laughs> 